Hey, welcome back to the channel, Skyrim and part 2 of Blackreach, where we're searching for an Elder Scroll so we can find that elusive Dragon Ren shout. So, without further ado, let's crack on. And again to the left. Always left for some reason. And the first sign of the Falmer. Yeah. That'll do. Good night. For some reason I thought there was a chest here. Nope, obviously not. Here we go. Good night. Yum yum, egg sacks. As I always tell you, pick up all the ingredients you can. Dolphin bolts, lovely. I'll have that. So if I went into a ruin and all I could hear was screams at night, I wouldn't be carrying on, that's for sure. Here we are. Nope, nothing. That green thing is oh it's a potion but I can't get to it. Oh well. A nice little chest there. Okay, is it gonna be worth it? No. Anyway, as I say in Tesco's every little bit counts. You can see I'm not I'm not being uh, unduly particular about finding everything. Uh, you guys take your time. I'm trying to keep the videos as short as I can. Uh, when I'm playing for myself, I literally delve into every uh, nook and cranny. So, uh, but like I say, the video will just be ridiculously long. But the main points are here. I don't want this is spazzing out. Good night. Gold, uh -huh. thanks for very little. And I can see a skill book.
So the more I do this, the more rubbish I'm becoming. That's it, job done. And ironically, it's a lock picking skill book. Which is bloody handy. There you go. As I'm talking about, this is one of the master chests. There's a lot of master locks around here. Hence, I mentioned about the uh, the, the fortified lock picking potions and um, filter of lock picking. Fortify lock picking. There you go. My alchemy skills are really good. And I've got a really good alchemy uh, outfit as well, so I get fairly decent potions. So all the work you put in at the front end pays dividends later on. But I'm still rubbish, even with all that. But to be fair, it is a master lock. Job done. Is it worth it? Yep. Yep, all good stuff. All good stuff. I mean, I already have this enchantment, so and I've got a huge amount of money. So. My enchanting skills are so good now. I, I'll never use any of the. Uh, right to get here, but just jump. Um, my health is good, so I don't know about you. Uh, if you've got the ethereal shout, use that. But save, quick save before you jump. That's the only way down to this level. By the way, you have to jump. Ooh, the music starting. That means there's baddies somewhere. And a nice little chest here. Okay, moving round and down, here's our first little Falmer. Good night. There's quite a few around here, so be careful. Now you can wait for them to come round if you like. There's a there he goes. That's Janice giving it loads. Or River Betty, that's worth taking. Ebony arrows, we'll have some of those. Damn wasting arrow. Stop Genesis killing herself. Come back here, you little bastard. You can't hide. 
Good night. Okay. Let's cause a bit of mayhem. So you watch the little red dots, they're just running around killing each other. And start watching them disappear. <laughs> there you go. And we just go mop up what's left. Fantastic spell. Absolutely brilliant. Oh. I've got loads of these now. Yeah, you can see they've already been killing each other. Uh, there's loads of ingredients around here. Because I used the Mayhem spell, these seem to have got scattered everywhere. Uh, but there's loads and loads of good stuff. So take your time picking it up. I've missed a whole load, so... Human heart. Oh, nom nom. I'll have that. And if you have a look here, these are clearly the bodies of dead people. Bit unpleasant around the Falmer. Nom nom. Yeah, that Mayhem spell was a fantastic way of clearing out sort of uh, dungeons that are really heavily populated. You just go in and mop them up afterwards. You see, look, they've already been killing each other. There's a dead one down there. He's already taken the damage. Good night. And a chest. Won't bother putting on the gear. Ooh, that's close. Wait, this way. Job done. Diamond, nom nom. Great soul gem, yep. Yes. Not going to turn down the great soul gem. From here, nom nom nom, silver patch, lovely. And again, loads of uh, ingredients around here. Grab them all. Mushrooms, I'm gonna eat it, lovely. Yeah, solid, it's not worth it. Anyway, carry on.
found was ears. Nom nom. So they obviously even hack each other to uh, bits. And you read the history in the Falmers um, when you do the uh, Thieves Guild quest line. It's uh, quite sad, but they're still evil little bastards, so it's hard to feel for any sympathy for them. Now, if you remember, they suspected a couple of mages uh, uh, disappearing, hoping to get all the credit for the discovery as well. This is uh, Vaily here. I gave Genesa the uh, Staff Revenant and I forgot about it and I shot her. <laughs> but that was her. She was obviously taken prisoner by the Falmer. Um, so her end was particularly nasty, as you'll see. And they've taken Sula's uh, pack and helmet and stuff. So I wonder what happens to him. If you want to go back up, you can go up the, uh, the elevator that way. There's a lot of ingredients you want to grab here and some rare stuff as well. I think there's meant to be a, a Daedric Heart here somewhere, but I, I didn't find it. Loads of stuff on the floor, I just didn't take that much uh, time. But uh, I'll take that. And the small pearl, I'll definitely have that. These ruins and the mechanical inhabitants are all that remain of the dwelling. And Blue Mage's uh, robes, which obviously veil his uh, robes. There's a poor girl there. Made a pretty gruesome end. Another poor unfortunate. Open the shackles for him, why not? And poor Vaily's human flesh. I'm assuming it's hers. And there's some more here. Nom nom. I don't know how to say nom nom, actually. <laughs> but it's a good ingredient, so. Waste not, one not. Another star for lightning bolts. Yeah, I think there's a Daedric Heart around there somewhere, but um, I'm just kind of uh, going through this as quickly as possible. So, onwards and downwards. They're already dead. The mayhem spell did the uh, did the work. I tell you, it travels a long way. By the way, it's got massive area effects. Oh, whisp wrappings. Nom nom. There's probably some chests around here, but I'm not really bothering with those. Okay, so we come up to 20 minute mark. Um, I think I'll call it uh, there for part two of this video. Um, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in part three where we actually conclude Black Reach and get the Elder Scroll. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.